mysterious places and encounters with strange creatures, there is still a lot to this planet that we don't know about. And today, we're going to be checking that out on the channel. Let's go. What are you doing? No, no, no. Over there. Is that? The world is full of mysteries. From ancient sites where things simply vanish to underground mysteries. Today we're gonna be exploring some of these. Let's go. In the early 20th century, a man called Edward Leeds Colin built Coral Castle single-handedly. As you can see, the place is filled with megalithic stones that weigh more than a ton. It would take more than a lifetime for a man to do this alone. Until today, no one actually knows how he built this. Some say he had special powers. Others claim that he had found a form of anti-magnetism similar to the ones that they theorized the ancient Egyptians used. As it turns out, all the objects, which I've been experimenting with telekinesis on, have become subtly magnetic. It's uh, a repulsive force I found with this, with this straw. Hardly any movement, my hands haven't got any static on them. And now, when we move in the magnet, which isn't charged, clear attraction. No one knows till today how it was done, and many theorize that they have solved the mystery. But again, it would take more than a lifetime for a man to do this alone with the precision that he did. However, there's more to Edward Deeds Calden. He worked extensively on radio devices and he claimed that radio waves were affected by magnetic waves. In the tool room of Coral Castle, we can see a wide range of radios, including tuning assembly, antenna tuners and switches. Ed had built a large aerial wire for his antenna which he stretched from the obelisk to the large crescent moon. He had also told people that he could listen to the music from the stars. It was claimed that he got into trouble because of these strange activities. <laughs> In the very distant past, there were myths and legends of dragons and such creatures. Till today, there are sightings that have little to no explanation at all. Where do these creatures come from is still a mystery. And in Lake Okanagan, there is a mysterious creature called Ogopogo that has been sighted both in the past and in the present. And as you can see in these videos that we're watching right now, there is little to no explanation to what these creatures might be. They are very much more similar to a dragon or something like that than to a fish or a snake. First of all, they are too big. Ogopogo or not, I'm not too sure what it is. Leave a comment if you have ever seen anything like this. A YouTuber, Jay Friesina, is with her friends in a cave in Austria. All of a sudden, the group they're with starts screaming. Oh my god! One of her friends spots a strange creature and points it out. They capture the creature on camera and at first, some theorized in the comment section that it was a frog. But being that they are in an ice cave, 
and frogs don't survive this kind of temperature and I believe frogs wouldn't be able to climb an ice cave also. Not like this, this could only be a humanoid creature or something like that. Oh my god. It, it must be thousands of years old. This is a very bizarre creature, it seems to be bluish in color and I'm not too sure what it is. Leave a comment if you have any idea. There are a number of mysterious stories surrounding stones and rocks in our world today. Widespread in Russia, there is a type of pagan sacred stone called the Blue Stone, and one located very close to the shore of Lake Plecheyevo. Considered the heart of Yarali, the sun god, it was an important pagan cult place, until today it is worshipped by many. When Orthodox Christianity arrived in Russia, the clergy threw the stone from its original location, but it didn't prevent people from coming back. And at the beginning of the 18th century, the church officials decided to bury the stone. Fifteen years later, the rock dug itself up. The clergy continued to try, and in 1788, the stone was put on a cart and dragged across the frozen lake of Plecheyeva. Ice broke and the stone sunk. But then local fishermen reported that the stones slowly moved towards the coast. And after 30 years, the boulder re-emerged on the coast and stays there on the same spot to this day. From time to time, a very strange mist emerges from this stone. Mushroom gatherers and an entire train have completely disappeared close to this mist. Local authorities have gone after the people and the train without any success, which makes this one of the most mysterious oh places God. in Russia. Yeah, get out of your house right now and look. You guys, this is the... Yo, holy f... Do you know what's happening right now? The highway stop for this The highway's stop for this. Yeah, fuck, we thought there was a fight going on. Honestly? What the bloody f*** is that? Okay, listen. I'm up right now too. This is Talk about strange creatures in lakes. Yak Daddy YouTube channel caught a very strange creature that at first I thought was just a grasshopper. But after looking for plausible comments under his video, no one seems to know what it is. So this is why I leave it up to you. There are a number of mysteries both above and under us. Sightings and creatures that have been spotted until today, some have been debunked, other explained. Many still remain a big mystery. Actually, what is actually down there is still a very big question mark. Some theorize that there is an actual civilization living under us. If you take a look at some of the tunnels and caves that were built in the past, it might just be. In a video entitled Tunnel to Hell, YouTuber Street Sips decides to explore it on his own. He goes very deep into the tunnel. Minutes into the video, he's all by himself, or at least this is what he thinks. After he hears metal clinging very close to him, he's pretty sure he's not by himself. It seems something is close to him, following him all this time.
Whatever it is, he decides to get out of there as fast as possible. Could it be that there is an entire and completely different world below us that will certainly explain the number of strange sightings that happen till today, some still without an explanation? In Spain, Ricardo Esquivias explores a national park and finds mysterious structures inside the mountain. <coughs> Vamos a mostrar todo lo que es <coughs> aquí. By the way it was built and by the observations that he makes, these structures were built by smaller people than us. The thing is, no one knows exactly how old they are, and there is a certain moment that he pans the camera to the other side of the mountain. It appears as if this was some sort of huge structure in the past that was taken over by nature. What was it that inhabited these mountains, and how did it get there in the first place? This is it for today, folks, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again.